Hello, I'm going to be showing you some of the basics of the C language. And in this tutorial, well, the C language, you can't really do GUI programs, and a GUI is a graphical user interface, GUI. And that means that there's not going to be buttons, it's just going to be basically all text, and it will run in either terminal or command prompt if you're on Windows. <coughs> and, um, all the code, so this will work on pretty much any operating system. All you need is a compiler, and I'll tell you about that in a second. So, oh yeah, and you'll need a text editor, obviously, too. And you can really use, it doesn't matter what text editor you use, but you'll want one with some good features when you're writing long programs. So this, the one I'm using is called TextMate. And then you can choose what language it is you're going to be writing it in. And what that does it is it'll highlight the syntax. Alright, let's get to programming. So the first thing you do in any C program, you include a library. So that would be include stdio.h. And then that's the standard io library dot h and it's a header file. That's the number sign and those two arrow things over here and here. Alright, let's zoom out. And then anyway, then the next thing you'll do well I mean you can include other libraries but for this video you won't be needing to. Okay, so then you'll do main parentheses, double parentheses, then you'll do an opening bracket, and then this text editor has a good feature where it'll guess what you're about to do, so it gives me my closing bracket already. Okay, so, like the pretty much most basic function in C is printf, p-r-i-n-t-f, and what that does is it prints things to the screen. So if I want to say hello, um, say print f hello, and then at the end of everything you do, you want to put a semicolon. So print f hello, or no, print f open parentheses, quotes hello, close quotes, close parentheses, semicolon. And then what we want to do, save it, save it as hello dot c. Yes, oh, I already made one of these because this is my second take of the video because I was just really messing up in the code. Okay, so we'll come down, open up terminal. And for this to work, you have to have Xcode installed. So if you don't have Xcode installed, then go install it and then watch this video again. Okay, so you'll do GCC dash O, then the name you want your thing to be called, so let's call it hello. Oops. Then the path of your program, so tilde slash documents slash hello dot c. Then what? Enter. Oh, hold on. Before we do that, I don't know why, but there is an X up here, so let's save that again. Now we'll compile the program. And then what you can do to run it just without clicking on anything, you write period slash hello. And then as you'll see, it says it didn't put hello on a new line. So when you want to do that, you'll have to do forward slash n, and that gives it a new line. So let's recompile that. And as you see, it gives it a new line. But also, oh, another way to run the program is go to your finder and then click on your user and just look for the program alright and here it is you can click on it and it just says hello so that's how you run them and then the next function is called scanf S 
C A N F. And then what that does obviously is it asks the user for input. So let's say we wanted to write a program that asks you what your name is. Um then what that we would do just to have it ask you your name. Oh god damn this mouse is being really weird. So erase that. Then what you have to do at first is declare your variables. Um, if you're coming from Ruby, it's going to be a little different. You can't just make them up on the fly. You actually have to declare them in the beginning. So, oh yeah, and there's different data types for your variables. Like char means it'll be a character like a or an a and character or money symbol or anything like that. Um, int int means it'll be an integer. Like, which is a whole number. Float means it'll be a number with a decimal in it. Okay, so if you want to declare a name, it's obviously going to be letters, so char name. Oh, yeah, and then in those, not parentheses or not brackets, but it's like those little square things. You, oh, hold on one second. Alright, I'm back. So then. As I was saying, um, so you'll do char name, and then in between those two little things, um, you have to tell the variable how, or tell the program how much um, characters the variable can hold. And by the way, it can't have spaces in the variable, so your program won't work if there's if the person types a space. Okay, so let's give it. Let's say they can type in 10 characters, and then we'll do a semicolon after that. Okay, so we'll say print f what it is your name, semicolon, scan f. Um, oh yeah, and then one of the reasons why C is it's pretty difficult to learn is because um, what you have to do is that you always have to tell the program what data type the variable is so then this is going to be a string so you'll do percent symbol s then close quotes comma space then the name of the variable so name then close the parentheses semicolon then if we want to um, have it say hello and then whatever name they entered, we would do printf hello whoops hello then you do the little percent s thing again close quotes comma space name and then it'll be the name of whatever variable and then we will save the program and get this little screen capture thing out of the way. Okay, so all semicolons. And it's really important. You have to, it's really important to remember to put semicolons at the end of all functions or else it's just really annoying to have to go back because it will just not work. Alright, let me just go through the screen. Alright, so I'll do GCC dash O, let's call it name then we'll do the path tilde slash documents slash hello dot c oh yeah and I'm just gonna have it go into new lines so it doesn't look really messy forward slash n forward slash n save alright dot slash name what is your name? My name is Tim. Hello, Tim. Alright. So, those are pretty much the basic, the most basic things in C. And I'll be making another video, getting a little bit more advanced. It's not going to be very advanced. Alright, then.